Hello everyone, it's Chris here from thegameslist.com bringing you another Flash Game Review. Today I'm looking at Mirror's Edge 2D. This is a fairly oldish game now which was released to promote EA's first person free running game that went by the same name. When we load the game we appear to be in some kind of office area. We can move the character around the screen and learn the controls here. After messing about a little bit we can jump up on the right hand side or click to access the menu area and begin a new game. Level 1 starts with our main character on top of a building ready to start free running. We begin moving from left to right and find notes left from our trainer who will help us with the controls and give us hints and tips along the way. The controls are very simple. Having S as jump and down as slide works nicely. We can use the up key to pull ourselves up onto ledges and run across walls, which is great fun I might add. The object of the game is to try and find three sets of items. The first is a little mirror's edge symbol. There are plenty of these scattered throughout the levels and you should be able to find most of them fairly easily. The second item is a bag, and unlike the first item, these are scarce and difficult to find. They are normally in positions that are difficult to reach and you will have to go out of your way to find these. The third and final item is a folder. These are the most important and most difficult items to attain. To find these folders you need to search around the levels looking for a red window located on the roof of the building. If you manage to find this, then by standing on it the glass will break and you will fall inside a room. In here you have to avoid gunfire from an assailant and find the all important folder. Mirror's Edge 2D is a fantastic game. In fact I would go as far as saying it's one of the best flash games of all time. The gameplay is fantastic and the slick animations bring a very elegant feel to the game. Getting all the items is tricky and overall it is a tough game to complete. The fact that it has extra modes including time trial and baddie rush means that you can play it multiple times without it getting dull. I like that in the normal game mode there is no time limit. This means you can experience the full size of the levels. But for those of you who prefer speed and competing against other people's scores, time trial mode is perfect. Having only three levels means the game is quite short and you can complete it fairly quickly. However, trying to get all of the items takes a while and getting the folders whilst avoiding enemy bullets breaks up the levels and adds a different dynamic to the game. Overall, this is a superb game which deserves a shed load of praise, so for that reason, Mirror's Edge 2D earns itself the top score. I give it 5 out of 5. You can play this game by clicking the direct link in the info panel or by going to thegameslist.com. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest casual gaming reviews.